college football coming up. We had some huge news break uh, in terms of the college football scene, and that is college football playoff is expanding to 12 teams. Uh, you know, adding more teams to the playoffs, college football is something that I think everybody's kind of been wanting. Some people don't. They like the four-team structure. Other people, uh, like myself, are really on board with this kind of idea of getting more teams into the fold because the whole reason uh, that they, they created the playoff in the first place was to kind of eliminate a lot of the speculation of, hey, maybe if this team got a chance to play you know, the top two teams, maybe it could have been different. Maybe we could have had a different champion. Yeah, that, that was very much the sentiment uh, during the 90s and 80s, you know, back when they just said, all right, this team's the national champion and that's that. Uh, you know, there was a lot of speculation there. Well, okay, well, shouldn't they have to earn that title of national champion? Shouldn't there be some sort of competition? And so that's when the BCS Bulls were, you know, first implemented. And, uh, you know, eventually it was the number one team, number two team going at it. And from there... You know, you got a national champion, and that was the BCS National Championship, which we had for over a decade, I'm pretty sure. And then 2014 rolls around. They push the college football playoff saying, hey, we're going to bring two more teams into the fold to win the title to kind of, you know, start this idea of having to really earn the championship. And I thought it was a great idea when at the time. Uh, but I was like, you know, if you're going to do a playoff, you might as well add even more teams. I was like, why isn't it a six-team or an eight-team playoff? Well, they've even went beyond that at this point. The board voted t today. They just released this. Uh, they're going to have a 12-team playoff. So let's take a look at this article here from CBS Sports. College football playoffs board of managers voted Friday to expand the playoff field to 12 teams with an aim to implement a larger format as soon as possible. Uh, the unanimous vote is an important step in pushing the playoff beyond the current four-team format. Now, let's be honest. They're doing this for monetary reasons, uh, and I think it's a great idea. I think it's a win-win, you know, in that way, because these networks, the schools, the conferences, they're all going to make a lot more money off of this, but the fans are going to get to watch more competitive football and that's really, for me, what has kind of taken me away from college football and why I love the NFL more and why I kind of softly cover the NFL more. And that is because, and I do talk college football. I have in the past, you know, I'm, I'm a Buckeyes fan. So, uh, like obviously, I went to the Ohio State. Um, I used to be fans of other teams as well. But the Buckeyes are, are my team. I went there. I got a degree from there. So, they're my team. But anyway... My point being that my biggest thing that I didn't like about college football was that most of the season is great teams playing against bad teams and literally having to pay them millions of dollars just to even play. And that's why I think this is kind of an interesting proposal because I think in that case, you should at least cut down the number of games played in the season. You know, if it's an issue of, because a lot of people make the argument of, well, you know, how are they going to play 12 games or whatever and then go and play another three or four games in the playoffs to eventually make it to the, to the championship game? And my, th my proposal is, and why I think this is kind of a great idea, is because just cut out some of the fat. You know, make it an eight, maybe ten game season. And then, you know, from there have the playoffs take over and then have the all the other teams play bowl games. And... It'll take out a lot of these games where, you know, you have Ohio State playing against, you know, Tulane or Tulsa or whoever, and then they come in to Ohio Stadium and get whooped, like, 48 nothing. You know, I, that's why I'm like, you know what, like, make it, make, it'll make college football more competitive, and it'll make, it'll trim out a lot of the fat of the games that, frankly, nobody really cares about watching anyway, I mean... I would go to those games, you know, the Tulane games, the and even some of the earlier, I'm just naming those two teams because they're the only ones I can think of where I went to those games, but even games like, you know, Miami of Ohio, which, I mean, makes a little bit more sense because they were, you know, close, and that was actually a really fun weekend, but the point being, going to those games, you know, 
you, you watch Ohio State, they're up 37 nothing at halftime, and then you end up leaving. You know, and, and people don't watch that on TV, so I think the logic is let's make the games more important by just trimming the fat on the regular season and making it where you play maybe two non-conference games and then the rest be conference games leading all the way up to the end of the season. Instead of having, you know, three or four non-conference games and three of them mean nothing and they're just, you know, the second team's in there within, you know, the second quarter. They're basically preseason games, <laughs> essentially. So just kind of get rid of that and have every conference give their own representative, which is why I think they're making it 12 games, make the top 12 conferences or even the top eight or 10 conferences give their best, you know, their conference champion, and then they make it to the playoffs. And then from there, you just have teams play until you get a champion. Uh, I think it's kind of brilliant. Let's continue reading here. Um, yeah, it will feature the six highest ranked conference champions as automatic qualifiers and then the next six highest ranked teams. Okay, I, I think that's great. That's a great idea. Um, uh, and it's saying here that uh, uh, the board has approved the new format to be utilized beginning with the 2026 season as it hopes to be implemented earlier, perhaps as soon as the 2024 campaign. I don't think it's going to be 2024 personally. I think it could be 2025. Uh, yeah, and that's what it looks like uh, a person responsible for the logistics uh, said 2024 start is unlikely with 25, 25 being more reasonable. Yeah, I, I think this is a great idea because, yeah, you get the selection committee making, and that's why the more the, it'll make more of these rankings. You know, you see the college football committee rankings every, uh, every week, and it's like, who cares about everybody else except for the top four teams? Well, this will make it a little bit more interesting because you'll have the six spots taken by the conference champions, and then you'll have basically everybody else warring for those other six spots. I think that's kind of brilliant, honestly. And it'll add a lot of stakes to the season. I think this is a brilliant idea. And and, I, and we all kind of knew they were going to head in this direction, but I'm happy that they're finally making letting it go because, frankly, the four-team playoff was, you know, not great anyway. But, I mean, I can kind of see where people make the argument of, well, the four-team playoff was a lot of blow-up, a lot of, excuse me, blowouts anyway. And that's really how it has been. You know, those those playoff games are usually all blowouts. But uh, I don't know. I think adding more teams to the mix, I mean, what do you have to lose? The earlier season games are blowouts too, but those don't have the stakes of a, of a playoff game. So either way, you may get blowouts, but who knows, man? There has been some great games. That I remember that Clemson-Alabama game a few years ago was incredibly interesting. I think it was with uh, Deshaun Watson, Hunter Renfro with that crazy touchdown at the end of the game. If I recall, uh, you know, we saw a tight game. I remember with uh, Alabama, Georgia a few years back, not this year, I don't believe, but a few years back when uh, they, you know, missed that field goal or whatever to win. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this is kind of a good idea. I, I think this could really benefit the, the future of college football and make it a little bit more exciting. Uh, and, and, and add more stakes to the game. But, uh, yeah, and then, you know, they go a little bit into, you know, the Big Ten getting uh, UCLA, USC, which is strange. I mean, re that those teams even want to travel all the way across the country to the Midwest. But it just shows that the level of competition in the Pac-12 has never been great outside of, like, Oregon. <laughs> but I think those teams will get wiped by even, like, Wisconsin and Michigan and Michigan State and all that uh, has been valued at $1.2 billion annually up from the $600 million college football playoff earning from ESPN. And it's going to be interesting to see uh, how this goes because ESPN has this 12 year deal with the college football playoff. Uh, you know, I think once this thing, once that, con I think they're kind of waiting out. They wanted to wait until they run the you know, towards the end of that contract so that they can make a bunch of lucrative deals with, you know, your Foxes, your CBS, NBCs to take over the load on that playoff. And even if ESPN keeps the national championship or whatever, those other networks will hop in and, and take the playoff games too. So, I mean, this is, you know, a great money deal for the, for the college football NCAA, who frankly has been taking big L's lately. I mean, with the uh, whole... Players can now make their own money off their likeness situation that has kind of solved itself out to the um, 
you know, that lost the NCAA a lot of money. Uh, the, you know, a lot of that, the branding deals and all that have, have kind of screwed them. So I wouldn't say screwed them, but they've lost money off it. So they feel screwed. So I think this is kind of a way to kind of make some of that money back. But I think this is definitely a good way to do it because the fans, I feel like, will appreciate this. Will appreciate that they actually want to, you know, make this work and, and make a uh, a playoff that's worth watching as opposed to, uh, you know, two games that are whatever. You know, and and, and, and and this will also leave no speculation behind of, oh, this team could have made it, this team could have made it. I mean, because you got 12 teams it's pretty likely that if you're not in the top 12, chances are you probably don't deserve to be in the championship contention. And that'll get teams like UCF, who were undefeated, I think, a couple of years ago. It'll get them in the mix and, and all of that to kind of clear all of the doubt, you know, and say, okay, the this team is for sure the champion. There's no if ands, or buts. I mean, because you don't see that in the NFL where it's like, oh, this team you know, could have made it if they just made the playoffs. I mean, if you miss the playoffs, especially now with the extra playoff spots in the NFL, if you miss the playoffs, there's there's probably a good reason for that. It's not just, you know, bad luck of the draw. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I I, uh, I don't know. I, it's interesting for sure. And I'm happy they're doing this. And, you know, it'll give me something to look forward to, I guess, with college football uh, in the next couple of years. Um, but, yeah. That's uh, I just thought was interesting news that just came out today, and I figured I might as well cover it. But 